Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 3 assignment of Edgal Hagen course. So oh, please watch the video till the end without skipping because if I change any answer in between, you can be able to note those changes if you uh, watch the full, full video. So friends, I hope these, question, uh, these solutions are 100% correct. Uh, I have uh, taken long time to prepare these answers. So if you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. So let's see the first question. Which of the following statements is or are true? So there are two answers for this. The first one is option B. IP protocol uses connectionless routing. That is second option. And the next one is option D. In connectionless routing, each packet is treated as an independent packet. So the answers are option B and option D. Moving on to the second one. Which of the following is or are false? They are asking false one. False for direct and indirect packet delivery option. So the solutions for second question are option A. Direct delivery occurs when the destination host and deliverer are not present. Actually, uh, direct delivery occurs when both both host and destination are at same uh, present on same network but they given not present so it is false option and hence it will be the solution for this uh, question and also option b actually these are reverse they give reverse statements so these are false and everything is correct so option a and option b are answers so mark a and B. And moving on to the third question. Which of the following routing flags can indicate route to a single host in the routing table? So the answer for third question is option C H. So mark option C. Moving on to the fourth question, which of the following statements is or are false? So there are two answers here. The first one is option B. In exterior routing protocol, all the participating routers are present in the same autonomous system. And the other one is option C. In interior routing protocol, the participating routers can be present in different autonomous systems. So the solutions are option B and option C. Uh, fifth question. In open shortest path first routing approach, which of the following packets is used to check if the neighbor route router is up or not? The answer is option E. None of these. So mark option E. Moving on to the sixth one. If a packet is to be delivered to all the hosts in a network, what kind of address should be used to specify the destination? So the answer for sixth question is option B, broadcast address. So mark option B. Moving on to the seventh question. How many bits are used to represent IPv4 and IPv6 addresses respectively? So for 7th question the answer is option D that is 32 comma 128. 32 is for IPv4, 128 is for IPv6. So mark option D. Option D is the answer. Mark it. And moving on to the 8th one, when an entire IPv6 packet is included as payload inside an IPv4 packet, it is called as, so it is called as tunneling, that is option B, tunneling, tunneling, so mark option B. And ninth question. The size of base header in IPv6 datagram packet is dashed bytes. 
they are asking in terms of bytes so the answer is 40 40 i will zoom this for you you can see that it is 40 i'm zooming back again hope you have noted it so it is 40 moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 10th one uh, actually this question uh, took a lot of time to solve uh, consider the routing table on which interface will an IP packet with destination 144.25.112.40 be forwarded so we will uh, uh, check for every subnet mask we use uh, this destination address and will perform and operation end operation with every subnet mask so everything is matched and that means the end operation between given uh, destination address and the subnet mask should give the respective destination addresses so everything uh, get same uh, everything is matching so the one with uh, longest number of bits that means longest subnet mask will be the answer so I got this one as highest uh, longest subnet mask so the answer will be corresponding eth2 it2 interface will be the answer so mark option c it2 so friends these are the solutions for week 3 ethical hacking course Hope this video uh, helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Uh, so for further more videos uh, regarding this course and also the other courses, keep supporting us. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.